Whistling Past the Graveyard, a novel penned by Susan Crandall in 2013, unfolds as a coming-of-age story. The title is drawn from the metaphorical expression denoting the act of maintaining optimism in the face of gloomy circumstances, a choice fitting the protagonist's disposition. The narrative delves into themes such as the authentic concept of family, the repercussions of racial segregation, and the evolution of self-esteem. The story begins with the precocious nine-year-old protagonist, Starla Jane Claudel, questioning her paternal grandmother's daily prayers, pondering whether they are directed towards her or selfishly centered on Mammy herself. Set in 1963 in Cayuga Springs, Mississippi, Starla resides with what remains of her family. Her father, Porter, toils long hours for an oil company, while her mother, Lulu, abandoned her at the age of three to pursue dreams of becoming a country singer. Starla, now in the third grade, acknowledges her challenging nature, her propensity to ask numerous questions and her inability to conceal impatience when bored. Her distinctive red hair makes her conspicuous, and her mischievous behavior frequently leads to Mammy grounding her. Despite missing her mother, Starla downplays negative stories about Lulu and envisions her as a stellar mother striving to reunite with her daughter. She fantasizes that life with Lulu would be more enjoyable than living with Mammy. 1 4th of July, defying Mammy's rule to stay indoors, Starla attends a parade. Believing that remaining unseen absolves her from rule-breaking, she is spotted by a family friend who threatens to inform Mammy. Panicking at the thought of Mammy's strict reform school threats, Starla opts to run away. While most nine-year-olds merely dream of running away, Starla, characterized by her uncommon spunk and determination, decides to act on her impulse. However, her lack of planning becomes evident as she embarks on her journey without provisions, leading to a perilous situation of dehydration. While traversing a roadside, Starla encounters Eula, a woman in her early 30s of African-American descent. Eula, who has adopted a white infant named James Abandon near a church, offers Starla water and a ride to her destination. This unconventional pairing raises eyebrows in town, especially among those who are aware of Eula's strained relationship with her alcoholic and abusive husband, Wallace. Wallace is incensed by Eula bringing home two white children, leading to a violent altercation where he threatens Eula's life. In a desperate act of self-defense, Eula and Starla inadvertently end Wallace's life. Faced with the aftermath of a murder, Eula and Starla flee the town, embarking on a journey through the American South. During this odyssey, Starla becomes acutely aware of the daily injustices Eula, as a black woman, encounters. Eula harbors dreams of reaching Nashville, Tennessee, and Starla, seeking refuge, imagines a warm reunion with her mother. However, upon encountering Lulu, Starla's mother, in Nashville, she is met with cold rejection. Lulu has moved on, remarried, and is uninterested in being inconvenienced by Starla's presence. Feeling hurt and rejected, Starla reaches out to her father, Porter, sharing the events of the past two weeks, including the unintended death of Wallace. As the story unfolds, it is revealed that Eula is wanted for kidnapping, having protected James, who is connected to the Claudel family. Eula, however, escapes incarceration, as the incident with Wallace is deemed an act of self-defense. The local police officer reveals his racial bias, expressing relief over Wallace's demise. Returning to town, Starla's dad secures lodging with Mrs. White, an elderly widow, forming an unexpected bond with Eula, who becomes Mrs. White's maid. Starla, reminiscent of Mrs. White's own spirited childhood, finds acceptance. The novel concludes with the makeshift family sharing a Thanksgiving dinner, symbolizing a new beginning amid the tumultuous events they've faced. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.